Hello everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Dogfish Head. This is their red and white. And what that is, is a wheat beer, uh, which means it's made with wheat. Uh, the ABV on this one is 10%. And, and, I've, and I've had this one a while, and, and I think it may have sat on a shelf for quite a while before I bought it, because these uh, it doesn't have a date on this bottle that I know of. I looked on the label, and it's got some condensation stuff on it. And the bigger problem is it's got great big white chunks floating around in the bottom of it. So a lot of people are fans of that. I'm not one of those guys. So I'm going to pour this one fairly gently. This is a big Belgian style wheat beer brewed with coriander and orange peel and fermented with Pinot No Juice, which is a wine I'm, I'm taking since I do a little wine making, but I'm not into those fancier names. We just did blackberry wine and and strawberry wine and stuff, kind of simple stuff we don't get into. The, I do have a white Riesling down there, but I don't get into the, the Pinots or anything like that. Not enough French in my blood, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, food variants for this one, guys. The cheese is a peppery, moderate pepper jack, tangy, brick, adam, feta, and the meat is poultry fish and shellfish, glassware, pint, becker, the the uh, Nonic, the Tumbler, the Pilsner Glass, that's what I'm going to use today, guys, the Pilsner Glass. And the Popal Mug, Sidell, or the Stein. And this says, not recommended for extended selling unless ABV exceeds the average range. Well, it's a 10% beer, so I think it exceeds it, but I don't know how well this one is. I, in my personal opinion, I don't think it's supposed to have all these chunkies in there, so we're going to pour it fairly easy, guys. And let's get some of it in the glass. It is loaded up. You definitely tell the Belgian yeast in this. I get cloves, coriander, banana, grapefruit. It smells very tasty. Guys, it is. I mean, it's almost like pond water murky. Not a big fan of this at all. This, this, the, the, I mean, if he was to pour this for me in a bar, and I would say, oh, that glass is dirty or something. But it was just so much stuff in that beer. Not a big fan of that. All right, guys, we got it into the glass. That's, that's the way it should look. It should be a cloudy, but not with great big chunks floating in it. I don't know if the hops or, or something in the beer has coagulated down and needs to be shook up. Of course you can't do that if you're going to open it. It's going to spew like champagne does. But I just don't like it when it's all settled down like that. I mean I like to... I guess you could pour it in a glass and stir it up. I, you know, I don't have any idea. But that's what it should look like. It is a very cloudy tangerine color. Uh, I had about a uh, probably a two finger, a finger and a half of head on the pour. And like I said, the nose is wonderful. I mean, it's bubblegum, 
grapefruit, coriander. Oh wow, smells delicious. There's some, of course, it's a wheat beer, so it's got wheat in it. It's a sweet candied smell too. I don't want to say uh, like a candied sugar. Wow, it smells delicious. Let's give it a hit. Cheers, everybody. Very nice. Very tasty. Very sweet. Wow. A little bit of the alcohol, but wow, it's a 10% beer. Wow. Big beer. It's It's got a little bit of a bitterness on the back end, too. Very sweet, fruity, citrusy. Wow. I could do with this just to be a little bit colder. Well, very tasty, guys. Go let it warm up. Let the other half have a big glass of this, too, and come back and do the final chug on this one. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left. Maybe a little bit more. Now that it's warmed up, it is <laughs> the booziness has really come on. You just got to be aware that this is a 10% beer. It's a big beer, and now that it's warm, it's not hidden very well either. It's got a real nice Belgian yeast in it, but it is very boozy to me, guys. Now that it's warmed up, the bubble gum, the grapefruit, and all that stuff is there, but it's got a nice alcohol bite to go with it. I don't know. And I don't see any dating on it, so that is my biggest, even though it's 10%. I still like to have that information, guys. It's just one of the things, especially when it's got all them, when it's uh, coagulated in the bottom like that has. So. And, it, and it's not it's not like there's a sediment across the bottom. I mean, this is stuff that's it's like a lava lamp inside. <laughs> and I'm not, like I said, a lot of people love it. I am not in that group usually. Uh, so, you know, like I've had some particles and stuff in there, but when you get the big globs of it, I mean, it just, it's not appealing. It's not that it's, it's bad for you or, or anything like that. It's just it's not appealing. You pour that in a glass and you've got those big chunks and all that stuff floating around it. It's just not appealing to drink. And that's the only reason I'm saying it, you know. And that's just my personal preference. Just my opinion, guys. So, uh, I thought it was okay. Just a little more on the boozier side than I thought it should have been. And... Like I said, I had all the junk in the trunk, guys. So, uh, I wasn't super impressed because I don't drink a lot of these this style beer anyway. Uh, I don't drink a lot of big boozy beers unless I'm reviewing. Everything that I drink is is usually between six and a half and eight percent, eight and a half, unless I get to the stout of the evening or something like that. And occasionally, it'll be a little bit bigger than that, but usually the stouts are down there too. So. I just don't like drinking a lot of big boozy beers. So this is the last one of the evening for me, guys. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it to seven. It's a B plus. I don't think it's quite to A quality. Uh, some of the reviews and some of the ratings dis, uh, disagree with me, but that's the way I feel about this one. I may have felt a little bit better if it hadn't had all the junk in the trunk, guys. Uh, Rate beer has 97 overall and 93 in the style. And Beer Advocate says it's 88, which is in the very good range. And looking at some of the reviews, I don't see anybody saying that they had a lot of particles or floaties or anything in there. So, like I said, I think uh, something has happened and, and uh, is uh, coagulated in the bottom of the bottle. I may be wrong, so guys, if you know different, give me some feedback back in the comments and uh, let me know. Not to say uh, <laughs> I like the floaties, but... My bottle didn't have any, or my bottle did have it, you know, and all that. Just let me know your information back on that, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Let's see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See everybody then.